Hey there, in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a kind cluster using Terraform. Uh, basically a kind cluster is like a mini cube cluster, uh, it's a way to deploy a Kubernetes cluster locally. Uh, wh what do I mean by local? Um, it's going to be deployed on my computer locally, uh, but uh, it, it doesn't mean that it's not going to be available on the internet. Uh, what's uh, be configured on the kubelet or inside any uh, nodes of the Kubernetes, it, it is regardless of where it's deployed. So if I deploy it on a public provider such as GCP or AWS, it doesn't really matter. Or if I just deploy on my local computer, which is what I'm doing here. So to do this deploy, I'm going to use Terraform, which is a open source software to do uh, deploy of infrastructures uh, automatically using code to do so. So um, this is the code here. Um, basically, we need a provider uh, and the provider is basically some, some place where is um, deployed already the code. So this is not the, the, the deployment itself. So what do I mean by that? The deploy of the kind code already exists in some place and this place is called Terraform Registry. Um, and we access this code just by putting this um, piece of code here called Terraform and required providers um, using Kind or kubectl or whatever provider we would want to put here, such as AWS, Azure, or whatever. So I'm using Kide and I'm using kubectl, um, binding it to the kind cluster. So um, I, I will actually just uh, give some tips to you right now, which is um, you need to learn how to update this code because when I first created this code, it was uh, four months ago. And when I uh, ran this code earlier, it was not working. And the thing is, it was already outdated. So if it was outdated four months ago, it will probably be outdated on the moment you are watching this video. So um, to correct things like that, such as the version you are using, such as this uh, I needed to add here, um, you are going to understand where you're getting from. Uh, what I just said here is the registry Terraform. So uh, you're needing to go Google registry Terraform.io, but that's not just it. You need to see um, what's the resource I'm uh, using here. It's kind cluster. So I am having a trouble on the kind cluster uh, resource here. So I'm going to see the documentation regarding the kind cluster um, uh, software. So I'm going to see right here on the registry Terraform and I'm going to look for kind cluster and I'm going to see the version they're using and what they're using here. So uh, my, my code for uh, from four months ago didn't have this dot image here so that was the problem that was uh, the reason that was not running and the, the moment I put this here and updated the, the version here it was running again so it's running for now but I promise you uh, if you're seeing these videos uh, six months from now it probably will not be working. So um, it's uh, after explaining how to fix this kind of issues, let me explain just how to 
run a thing here, uh, which is the first command. Uh, there is a the terraform init, which is the first and um, obligated command you need to run here. Um, let me just show you how it goes without this command. And basically, it, it uh, runs the the dependence uh, its inconsistence. So, what does it mean to us? It means that uh, our local files here, uh, our main.tf does not understand where its uh, provider is supposed to locate our um, Terraform uh, provider. So, uh, where is the configuration for the main.tf? So um, I need to have this file on my local files here. So uh, there is not just it. When I run the terraform in it, you're going to see that I'm not gonna just delete, uh, just download a folder here with the the providers here. So I'm gonna also have a log file here. This log file is really valuable to us because this uh, file, uh, file here, it will uh, make it consistent for us. So this log file is what makes the main.tf make sure um, the Terraform knows which cluster and which version of kind and kubectl he uh, it are supposed to use so uh, that's it when we do this common we are ready to do the terraform apply and let's just do it here and by the way if you're uh, enjoying this video just hit the like here and just give me a hand on that so um let me see when you do apply here it's basically the same as you do a plan a terraform plan but with a option to run the code because the plan is pretty much the same as this it shows us the plan with the option to run the code so um this is the plan we are watching right now um and the plan says to us um okay there you are about to create a um, cluster, it's a kind cluster, and there is a one node called counter plan and three nodes called workers. So that's okay, that's pretty much what I want to create. And when we are creating this right now, we are going to create a, um, some other files here, and one of them is the most important for us is the GF state. And this file here is pretty important to work in in a team basically. Because um this GF state is basically uh, what we call as a desired state of the system. So uh this uh file here is saying what's the desired state of our cluster so the desired state is like this we have a control plane we have three workers we have um, this, uh, this certificate we have this endpoint here we have this id and etc so if we have something uh, that's different from this here um, we uh, the kubernetes cluster is going to work until the actual state uh be equal to the desired state okay so that's how it works so now that we have uh it applied it has been added here we can do a kubectl get nodes to see if it's running and 
as we see here it's already and it's running uh, the control plane and the three workers we created so uh, that's it and if you want to see how to deploy a highly available web deployment it's basically how to, de to deploy a web application because the highly available part we just did because the highly available is um, basically bounded to the cluster if you have a highly available cluster you will have a highly available application if it is inside the cluster which is highly available so i uh, will make sure it is right here um, or somewhere else in front of me right now and don't don't forget to comment anything you find in interesting uh, hit the like and let's see you next time bye bye